Hi, it's May 16th and I wanted to show you some of my favorite roses. This is called Happy Chappy and it grows as a ground covering, which I have here. Then it also grows as a little uh, tree rose. And then I have like a topiary that has kind of an explosion on top and an explosion on the bottom and it just sort of exploded. Oh, bless that little dog. It's a neighbor dog. He always sounds so upset. Anyway, um, this is one of my favorite uh, trees. It's a weeping pussy willow. And uh, it either has pussy willows on it or just hangs down with lots of leaves. And this red rose was given to us by Ishvan's brother. And uh, there, he gave us several one gallon cans and they weren't much to look at until they just grew into the sweetest red roses all along our white uh, picket fence. Uh, here we go. These pink ones, uh, climbers that are on the left side of this arbor are called uh, social climber. And then the uh, darker pink that's on the other side are from Hungary. They're Ishvan's grandmother's roses that we <laughs> smuggled in just little little cuttings several years ago ago and they have really done well in our front yard this little area i always think of my mom because that was her white wrought iron settee she loved white wrought iron and i love white bark birch so this little corner of our front yard is very special to me it always makes me think of her Let's see, what else? Continuing on, moving around. Um, this arbor is totally Hungarian roses. These are all Ishvan's grandma's roses. Um, and that's what it looks like when they go full blast. This is a griffin. And Kathy Allerton gave it to me because her husband said it was a sign of the devil. But I named him Andy and I love him. This little bench was given to me by my uh, daughter, Julie. And this, Ishvan says, Mrs. and Mr. Rabbit are gitch, but I love them. I think they're very cute. And I love calla lilies. Calla lilies are just one of my favorite flowers. And this plant, this is called uh, a camp, uh, castor plant. And Ishvan's father gave me the seeds because I admired it so much. He had it outside of their house. And it gets very large. And it's where castor oil comes from, the bane of my childhood existence. Who knew it came from such a gorgeous plant and that I would have it all over my yard someday. And uh, this is our weeping Japanese maple that looks dead every winter, but it always comes back to life. And I love this tree. This is our little greenhouse that my son-in-law Joe made for us, uh, made for me shortly after I bought the house. And we use it now as a bedroom if someone comes to stay. This is looking out through the windows into the backyard. And we have this room set up as a bedroom, bedroom and a uh, little uh, sitting room also. This is the other end and uh, looking through the window. And then out into the backyard, I have to mow the lawn. I already did the front lawn, but still have to do the back lawn. This is Ishvan's raised beds for his garden. He just loves his garden. And since he dug out all of the dirt uh, and roots from the big willow, or um, the elm tree, his vegetables are really doing well. And then across the fence in the back is his uh, grapes. He loves growing his grapes, and uh, I wanted to try to espalier some fruit trees, namely a Fuyu persimmon. And um, you can't really tell, but the Fuyu is the little upright to the right, and then we have a Santa Rosa plum, and then we have two cherry trees. And I'll kind of go in close to show you how Ishvan is starting to cause them to grow along the wires. And hopefully the fruit will just hang down. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed uh, this little video and uh, that my little gardens brought you some happiness on this Saturday. Bye-bye. I love you.